Hi, I want to talk to you for a moment about my latest thinking about the Flash Awake here in this beautiful community garden in Longmont on an extraordinary day in May. Grateful to be alive and able to process these deep spiritual truths that as I notice myself, especially over the last couple of weeks, going down all kinds of emotional rabbit holes and mental fixations, stuff that's kind of come to light since my father died in, in January about the family and things I'm gnawing on like a dog on a bone and wanting to fix or be mad at somebody in the family or trying to forgive something or, oh, and what I'll do is I'll flash awake. I'll remember to flash awake. And suddenly I'm in that larger reality. And even if it's a, a more mechanical flash awake, like just the deep breath and the, ah, the release, you know, or it's a flash awake inquiry, like what is my deepest truth right now? And it'll always be something like, wow, I'm, I, I, I want to ground. I want to be in my essential nature. I want to let go. I want to forgive. I want to be able to be my wisest, fullest, loving self in regards to these matters. And it will reset me it, it, and it re regulates my nervous system. I notice how even for those few moments that I can soak in that and then I'll be right back down the rabbit hole as, as you will be because that's the nature of our human existence. But wow, for those moments that we're soaking in that, that self-regulation, that, that connection, that commingling with the divine, it's, it's glorious and it, and it resets the brain, the mind, the body, the nervous system. And I think it resets our calibration so that we're able to continue to evolve as, as a mature soul moving forward, even with all of the emotional and mental dramas going on in our life and how we can get trapped and hijacked in those temporarily. So I hope this is helpful to you as well and will further encourage you to flash awake through your day and catch yourself and use it as a powerful tool for self-regulation.